Good morning. It's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. Um, as I've been crafting and making things, I've realized that I have a storage problem. <laughs> um, I, I have all these little, little stickers and flowers and things that I have in sheets or in Tupperware dishes, plastic dishes, and um, it's, it's getting a little out of hand. <laughs> So I've come up with a, a, a storage solution that I think will work for me. Um, it's not foolproof, but I think it'll work. And so I've made this little folder, a little, I guess I call it a concertina folder, like an accordion folder. Um, <clears throat> it probably has another name too, I just don't know it. And in here, I'm going to put little envelopes um, with all my goodies in so all I have to do is pull it out look at what's written on it open it up and choose something out of the stash that's in that envelope and file it close it uh, close it and then file it away so I have some words, I have some tea tags, I've got a whole bunch of punched out circles, um, and then I've got a few other goodies that I, I have that I haven't quite um, gotten to, and then when I've all said and done, I can close it up and put it maybe... In a decorative box maybe I'll decoupage or collage onto a shoe box and everything's together and it's neat and I'm gonna show you how how I did this super super easy the only uh, this is just yellow construction paper you guys um, and red construction paper and you just need two sheets two a4 sheets or 11 by eight and a half sheets of construction well not construction paper but the, the slightly thicker um, craft paper and I, I use this stencil to get the little dotty effect on this one okay so I'll put this aside um, so I'm fussy cutting these out and they're going into this envelope and then they will also eventually go um, into that little folder okay so all you're going to need is two sheets of 11 by eight and a half um, inch or a4 size paper and this is some of that craft bright or all right bright that I was gifted and um, haven't really known what to do with except for one craft that I, I did a video of a couple of months ago maybe in November and then your second, your second craft paper, you're going to concertina or accordion fold. So this is the part that's the most tedious um, and that I enjoy the least. I enjoy putting it together and putting all my goodies in and decorating the outside. But this, uh, this, this took me a minute. <laughs> so let's, let's do one of these in the purple. Actually, you know what I think? Yeah, the purple's fine. Um, so I have a, a ruler, a, a metal ruler, because it's got nice sharp, sharp edges, and it's an inch wide, which is, I think, yes, two and a half centimeters by an inch wide. Um, you can make your folder, uh, little folds wider or narrower, whichever you like. I just found that I'm just going to, it'll be easier for me just to go with the width of the ruler, because... As those little envelopes get thicker and thicker with goodies that I put inside, it's um, the extra space will probably be be nice to have. Um, I don't have a a bone folder out um, or anything like the back of a, a bread knife or anything like that. So I'm just using my nails, <clears throat> my fingers to run and score along along the edge there I'll fold it over 
we get a nice clean crease. You know what would also probably be useful is if I, I had one of those scoreboards. Don't have one, but I think that would be so much easier if you had that. I'm going to line my ruler up. I'm going to take the fold, put it face down, and then take my ruler, line it up with the fold, and fold over again and this time we're folding in the opposite direction and just keep uh, 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 ruler moved keep moving and you see what I mean by this this is the this is the harder part of this craft I'm going to leave my folds facing down line up my ruler and really get that fold down and over we go again. Overs, good overs. Okay. And you're probably going to do this how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine folds. It's a total of nine folds on this size piece of paper with a one inch ruler or with a one inch um, fold. So I think I'm going to. You guys get the idea, right? It's just going to be keep the folded side face down. Um, get your fold nice and tight. Get the ruler on here, lined up with a fold, and just keep going. So I'm not going to use the purple today because I have two pre-folded pieces. So I'll stop here. Um, for time, or should I, should I carry on? We're really almost there, right? Almost there, so I think I've got another three or four folds to go. I might as well finish this one, right? And I can use it later. Okay. Yowza. Um, <clears throat> I need to start. I have these dumbbells, right? There's only a pound, and I'm supposed to be... <laughs> supposed to be using them in the mornings because I vowed and declared that I was going to get healthy and I was going to work on some upper body strength yeah well <laughs> famous last words right I mean it's right in front of me it's not like I could forget it's just convenient to, to forget because I don't want to do it <laughs> I am just a wimp, just plain lazy. Um, and then I think, okay, I'll have breakfast. I'll, you know, I'll get myself ready for the day, and then I'll come and I'll do a couple of arm curls. I don't have to get all hot and sweaty. Just a, you know, a couple throughout the day. Nope, still not happening. <laughs> okay, so we've got our concertina fold now. So what will happen to this guy, and I'm going to set him aside because we don't, we're not, I don't want to use this color. Um, I'm going to pull out the red one that I've already done. And what I want to do with this one now is find the center. So it should be eight and a half wide. I didn't really get my fold down, folds down nicely, but anyway. So my eight and a half, which makes it four and a quarter that we're going to, um, I'm going to measure four and a quarter, that smack in the middle, and that is where I am going to cut it. Let me mark it, so I don't cut wrong. Okay, like so, four, one, two, three, four, and a quarter, and now I'm going to cut it in half. Yeesh! There we go. Um, I need upper. Maybe I should just... <laughs> I'll just uh, tie the dumbbell to the end of the scissors and see maybe if I... Okay, never mind. I'm being silly. Okay, so there we go. Now, that's that center piece where you actually start putting in the, um, the envelopes with your, your fussy cut little goodies in. If you take another piece of paper, now you've got two options. You can make one 
where it is it has just a single fold and that is great or you can make one where it has a double fold and with that you're giving yourself more space this way um, so as your little envelopes maybe become a little bulky you've got sort of a little bit of um, bulge space I guess um, storage space um, and I realized this only after I had made the the single um, but I like both I'm going to use both because I think they both would work so this is already pre-folded because all I did was take this piece of paper and fold it in half super easy no no fancy business here um, but this guy was a little uh, there was an extra step so I'll show you the extra step on this plain paper and again we're going to find the middle Eight, uh, this is 11 so the middle would be five and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five and a half. I'm going to put my finger here, place my ruler down, smack in the middle. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's nicely in the middle, except that my paper's not straight. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, and there we go. Now, again, I'm just going to, if I had one of those scoreboards, this would be so much easier. But I know we don't all have them. I don't have one. Um, I'm going to fold this up and get, and I should have brought out my, my bone folder, but it's okay. I can just use my fingers, give it a nice score line, bring this one up, make sure I'm still... Doing the right thing, yep. I'm still there. I feel like I'm skewed, but I suppose it's not a train smash. But anyway, I think my next investment really should be that um, that scoreboard. I've seen so many crafters use it, and it looks so useful. And I, um, or you know, in the past I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll ever use it. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so there we go. So now you've made, it's almost like a book cover, right? Almost as if you're making a book cover. So there you go. Now, I've already chosen decorative paper because, oh, and there goes my first drop for the day. <laughs> um, guys, whatever you want to do to the outside of the paper, whatever decoration you want to put on here, whether it be a sticker to say what's inside, whether it be to clip the corners round, whatever. Um, it's just, it's not, you don't have to, but it's just easier if you do it before you put your um, concertina, your folded piece of paper over here inside. Um, so I don't want to do anything to these because they, they're so decorative already. Maybe later I will come and put a sticker just to say what's inside if I have a theme of what's inside. Maybe it's all stickers, maybe it's all words, maybe it's all... ATCs, you know, artist trading cards, maybe it's playing cards that I still want to do something to. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it. Um, but for this one, I haven't clipped the corners. I have my little round clip. I'm going to just clip the corners, kind of finish it off a little bit, like that. And now, oh, this is the one that gets the green. No, this one, no, no. This is the one that gets the <laughs> this is the one that gets the green. Okay, so I've got the green ready here. I'm going to find my middle again. Mark it off, cut it in half. One, two, three, four, and a quarter. I've got a pin pin thing in my mouth, sorry. And there we go. Eesh. Good gracious, but this is got it I got it okay so there's a, a little little trick here that I want to share with you I'm going to take some double-sided tape and I'm going to put it over here I think I'm running a bit low on this tape I'm gonna put a little bit down there on both of these 
like that. I just want to make sure I'm still taping. Yesterday I did a, a whole video, a whole 18 minute video, um, making clusters. And I thought, oh, you know, I'll just quickly check, make sure you can see what I'm doing. And it had stopped <laughs> recording. So for a full 18 minutes, I was talking to myself. <laughs> hey. Okay, so here's the trick that I want to share. So I'm going to take my first folded piece. And I want to have the mouth of the bottom piece facing inwards, like that. And then the mouth of the second piece facing inward as well. So let's just start by pulling the tape off and placing it down slightly, slightly inside and not quite to the bottom, just like that. And we'll repeat it on this side. You know, once I, when I first started looking at this, I thought, oh, so difficult, but it really isn't. Um, okay. And then on this side, we go slightly in and not quite to the bottom. All right. And it's down. And the mouths, the mouths are facing inside for the first little hole. Taking off. Take that off and take this guy off. Um, now I'm going to just hold it down at the bottom, bring this over and just come down. Voila! <laughs> It's done! So easy. Um, okay, so there's that one. Now the one with the gusset, the one with a little extra space at the bottom here, we're going to do exactly the same thing. And I hope I have enough tape left on this roll. I think I'll probably... If we don't, I have another one. Okay, put this tape down. And... That, oh, ran over, but you don't have much, so let's don't run over. There we go. Uh oh, come back. Oh, sticky, sticky. No, sticky, sticky. Okay, I really think I'm going to. Yeah, finished. All right, we'll just use this one and I'll put two pieces down instead. So, put down the tape. Put down a second piece because it's thin. And I went over again, gosh. Okay, and there you go. Just like that. Okay, I'll pull these guys off. And again, the mouth. The mouth faces inward. And you go down just inside and not quite to the bottom. That and then this one Let's see. Oh got it. Okay. Uh, mouth inward just inside, not quite to the bottom. Here we go. Now we can pull the tape off the top. Oh, that one went over a little bit too. Like this. You could glue this down too. Um, I think I used glue in my first one I made. Now this one is a slightly trickier um, because you have that fold. So what I'm going to be trying to do is to get... this edge just above this fold and I may have to just kind of lay that one down and then come in here and 
lay that one down okay so that one's a little trickier but if you stand it up and do them one at a time um, as opposed to that one where you could just go with both um, it'll work so there as well we've got our our concertina file now you could to put two holes here and put in some string to tie it down um, or uh oh Oh, no, it's working. I thought it came loose, but it didn't. Or you could just take a piece of ribbon, just for that little bit of extra decoration, and come straight down the middle. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if this double-sided tape is strong enough. So if it's not and it comes loose, I'll just glue it down. Am I in the middle? <laughs> Be One, two, three, four. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm in the middle. <laughs> I could have sworn that wasn't, but anyway. my I, I eyeballed it and I was right. So now I want the middle so that I have equal sections sticking out the top. So it's going to be, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to lay it down. It's going to be on that edge, like that. Oh, oh my goodness, it moved. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try it again. All right, maybe I can move that out the way. <clears throat> I'll go higher up this time, maybe it won't move. So there's my middle. There's my middle. Let me stick something on it. There's my middle. Um, where's my tape? There's my tape. And I squared it along this line. And it's done. Okay. So let's get another piece of this double-sided tape down. And put the other side of the ribbon down. There we go. <clears throat> Up it goes. And we are done. It's done, you guys. I can now go ahead and put... Um, envelopes in here with my goodies and close it up when I'm not using it like just like that Ta -da! <laughs> all right let's put a ribbon on <coughs> excuse me let's put a ribbon on this guy and then I I will cut out some more of my ephemera and start storing. Um, I'm, I saw this craft, I think, um, oh, I saw, a, a, not the craft, sorry, the this little storage folder, concertina, accordion storage folder, um, at a one of these stationery shops, and I just thought that would be perfect, and I was about to buy one, when I thought, no, wait a minute, pretty sure I can make this. And so I'm going to do this a little differently this time and see if this works a little easier. Like that. Let's see. Maybe this will be easier. And so I want the middle. So one, two, three. Oh, that's the middle, you silly. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four ish, more or less, kind of, sort of like. <laughs> yep, that'll work. Oh, I went a bit over there. Oh, gosh. Um, what am I going to do about that? I'll put a piece of paper there later. Okay, so that's. I'm not going to do that again. Let's move this up. Because it's harder to see how much tape to put down. 
Oh, the neighbor's dogs have awoken. They're awake. They're cute. They're little Labrad... Black, black, black. And I think they're um, Labradoodles. And they are the cutest, cute, cute, cute little fluffy little black dogs. Well, they're not so little anymore. They've grown. They, um, when we first met them, they were just puppies. It was like this little, little ball of fur. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> Super cute. Kaya's one paw, I think. <laughs> Kaya's whole body, actually, would be the size of their one one back leg. They, they're quite a bit bigger than she is. She, has, she hasn't met them. Um, she's not... Uh, oh, sorry, you guys. I'm struggling with this tiny little piece here. I just thought I'd better put a piece of tape at the bottom to hold the tape on the, the bottom as well. There you go. Okay. So there, that one's also done now. I hope you guys found this interesting and that you could also go ahead and make yourself some of these storage containers. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to visit with you again. And if you have tried any of these and you'd like to come and share what your file folders look like, please come and join us on our Facebook page and I invite you to put up pictures of your crafts. Um, I love for us to see, for, I'd love to see how uh, a craft perhaps inspired somebody else to do something, even if you did it slightly differently, even better. I'd love to see that. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for visiting with me. I'll see you next, ne no, no, I need more coffee. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>